Today's victory really showed the, the toughness and the ability that this team has, considering we had multiple players out with injuries. Death, Dion's grandmother passed away. We had a suspension part of the game with, with Robert. And I think that with the foul trouble, with different, I really think the character and the toughness of this team showed be able to withstand some of the runs that Catawba had and some of the the calls that were made and putting us in foul trouble. And, and I really was pleased. I think it's a typical conference game where we battled and we persevered through all kinds of different type of things that were going on. The team depth and abilities of us from top to bottom are what makes us dangerous. You know, like I said, with all with the injuries and suspension and, and death, we didn't have a full team. And then you put the foul trouble. Now we've got, you know, you don't know what lineup's going to be on the floor at any given time. And it does show that we have the guys that can make the plays at, at any different time of the game. Tim Bing has to continue to play like this because that's his potential. And with Ricky being out with the ankle injury, we had to make all those adjustments. And once he settled down and, and didn't turn the ball over at bad times, he realized where he needed to lead the guys. And he ended up open. And that's the way our offense is set up. If the ball's moved in certain spots, somebody's going to be wide open. And he did. He had some clutch shots down that middle of the second half that were enabled us to go ahead and stretch the lead out and actually pull away. And he was the difference maker in that second half. At this point of the year, I'm definitely pleased with where we are. And I did think that we had this potential to be 9-2 and two and undefeated in the conference. I felt like some things had to go right. We had to really have some team chemistry and buy-in. But really, yes. I mean, we have one more game, conference game, next week at home. And then we're on the road for two games. And hopefully that we continue this type of team effort to really continue our ultimate goal of winning the regular season. The crowd, again, helped us really push through at crucial times, first half and second half, when we needed that extra little energy, that extra little push. It's great to have our statesman fans out there. Uh, it's great to have to recognize the Shrivers with our Fellowship of Christian Athletes and uh, all they do for each of our teams. And then also to be able to feed the local hunger. You know, and that's, that's something that we're really big on is giving back to the community. And it was great to see that type of crowd out here and just donating. And, and we really enjoyed that. And we feel like we put a great product out there. So every time they come, hopefully it, it gives us that little push to pull away with the win.